Welcome to the third video. In this bit, we will be focusing on creating a hero section. We will be styling up the heading first. We will be also reusing the small button to make it bigger one. Uh, and we will be also sort of hovering over how to create the grid, which I'm using in my designs. So let's look at how to do it. And let's focus now on the hero section. Great. So we have the, we have the main element here is the illustration and the big, uh, big jumbo is uh, font size. So we will do a uh, div block for the hero section. We can actually call this one a section. So we have a section as a separate, separate uh, class. And inside we will put a div block called content. 114, as we know, we will center it. And now we have section content in it. And now we can do a uh, other class called hero. Great. So now we can, uh, the reason why I did the section and content is that we have a section as a full width. Content is the wrapper inside. And we will be reusing those section content for most of the parts of the website. And we will be just sticking the content in it. So once we, once we need to change something uh, on top of the section or the content, we will be changing it actually in all of the sections, which is a smarter decision, I guess. So we have the section. We need to put there a uh, main headline, which is a great cliff but we want to so we want to change it to a visby by selecting the uh i'll go back uh to do if you select the, the heading and go here to all h1 headings that means that you're changing it without changing the class or adding the class to all of the headings uh the first headings across the whole page so if you if you then create a new a uh, new page, it will be again already there. So this one is quite jumbo. I'm not sure if this will be actually heading one, but let's see in a in a, in a future. So we will have 62 and 72 line height. We will do a black one, and uh, it's bold. Great. Yes, so we will put it like that, but we want to limit it to 820. Or maybe we can put it into, yeah, this will look actually way better. So we will stick it to nine columns instead of, uh, instead of 820. We can actually go here and do it as a grid, which would make probably more sense. So we can have, uh, grid without any rows and we will have this one as uh, as 3fr 3fr yes. great so now this one uh, divides the whole canvas whole uh, 1140 pixels into a four parts and three parts means nine columns in my designs so we have we have it like this <laughs> We now do entrepreneur, enter, entrepreneurs, uh, this is really hard word for Czech people, uh, or non-native non uh, natively speaking people. I'm not going to repeat this one. Oh, actually, the reason why is it like this is because there is a bold font. It's not anymore. Great. Let me double check if this one... No, it's good. Cool. So we have the... This word, I'm not going to repeat it. And we, we want to make it different one than the other ones. So we will do paintbrush, which turns it into a text span. We will put the violet on it. Uh, we will call this a uh, main heading span violet. And then we have the startup enthusiasts as well. And we can call this text span again, main heading violet span. 
whatever. So we have it like this. We also want to check what's the margin from the main hello uh, bit, which seems to be 37 for some reason, but let's do it 35. So we're using some not that generic numbers. 35. And let's check how far is it from the button. 60 pixels. Great. No. So we have the main heading, which is a uh, hero heading. So we have it done. We want to also put a div block here because we will be creating multiple elements in the one column. And then we're going to paste there a text block. We want to paste there one more text block, div block for the, for the line which is one pixels high. And we know now it's 145 width. And it's the, again, the violet. And 20, hopefully. Oh, it's actually six. Interesting. Okay, let me check it. Let me change it on both. So it's six, six, right. It's almost invisible, especially here. Let's, let's work on that. So, uh, we will do a hello. We will do 12, 20. Violet, and that's again Bisbee in bold, I believe. Bold Bisbee, 16 pixels margin. Hello, text, hero. Actually, you know what? Let's start using the the labels like that. Oh, actually, I guess it's fine. For the spans, it's good. So we want to put the line next to it, which mean, which means, so we want to quickly put it together next to each other, which means but we will turn this div block into a flex box with a centering uh, in the middle. Why is this line not appearing? Where is the line? Oh, I know. I turned the font into the into the background. Well, that would take a long time to find out. <laughs> so we're back. We're back on track. Uh, we will put this into A20 because that's almost invisible. So we can have some cool line there. And the last thing which we want to do, we want to actually not the last thing, we want to name this one as a hello wrap. And then we want to do another button, which we can use from here because we almost have the styling done. And we just want to make it bigger. How bigger is we will put this 22, 14 and it's not centered. It's not centered. So let's do 48 and 18. So we want to call this violet button and we will put this big violet button. And since everything is already done, you can do 40. Actually, I can put, I, I can do it with that. Yes, and 18. And we want to, since it's a big one, we were 40 and 22. Great. And that's the main bit. We have the main text. And then the last bit for the second column. But we will probably have to use a, uh, 
absolute positioning here. We will put the hero image here. Right. We will put it as a high DPI. And now we have to turn it somehow into the right position. We will do position relative, position absolute. And now we are finally able to see the image. We will put it here and we will put it as a zero. That doesn't gonna help. We will put this div block as a position relative with a z index one and the last bit will be obviously uh we need to figure it out what's the what's the line height what's the what's the margin here so 66 plus 35 and it will be 80. it will be 80. so hero section the whole hero section will have 80 pixels margin from top and then from the image we'll have 120 120 and we still have to figure it out how to do this body image this is obviously a hero text prep and now how to position the image so we will change this, this one into a uh, we will put this one into four columns right uh, we will put this one into column span three this image will also have uh, Column started two, column start, column ending four. It will be aligned here, and this one doesn't start on a row one. Yes, we're almost there. Yes. We will do 80 pixels down, which means we will have to add to the hero section 80 pixels. So that's 200. We can check it like this and we're there. Whew. And that was it. Now we have the hero section and the navigation. And in the fourth video, we will be focusing on creating a, another two sort of static uh, parts of the, of the landing page. I'll see you there.